Rudyard Kipling famously said, East is East and West is West and never the twain shall meet. He's always been wrong about that, of course. They do, here in Turkey. Turkey has been the fulcrum of empires for millennia, really, and lately, though, it's also been the focus of a very delicate balancing act between the competing interests of different civilizations. Now, in the last week, that has been very tightly focused down on Turkey's southern border. Over the last few days, starting in Suruç, there was a terrorist attack on Monday, 32 people, including a suicide bomber, killed there. Following that, the next day, cross-border skirmishes in Kilis, which resulted in one dead Turk and one dead member of so-called Islamic State. The Turks hit back very fast with some airstrikes in and around uh, Hava, with uh, a number of people reported to have been killed. But coincident with that has been the Turkish government giving permission to the Americans to start running uh, air operations out of Incirlik Air Base. Now, that will be a game-changer in terms of the campaign led by the Americans but a multinational coalition against so-called Islamic State. But the Turks might want something in return. Let's have a closer look then at the sort of strategic situation. There you've got the Damascus capital still in the hands of Bashar al-Assad. The Turks want to see two things. They want to see a buffer zone along this southern border, which would provide safe haven for civilians, but also protect their border area. And as a third side effect that they don't like to talk about too much, but is nonetheless very high on their list of priorities, to prevent Kurdish separatist groups from getting too much of a permanent foothold there. But they also want to see a no-fly zone imposed by the international community against the Damascus regime. Now, why is that? Well, from the Turkish perspective, all of this campaign by the international community has been focused on so-called Islamic State and not, in their view, enough on simultaneously dealing with the destabilizing threat uh, and the original cause, if you like, of the civ civil war in Syria, which is the Bashar al-Assad regime. So the Turks may be able to wring some more concessions or at least more of a focus on those other demands that they've been making to try to bring some kind of strategic balance. And it's probably worth listening to, to them since they've been there, well, forever.